So, uh, hello you beautiful people, how are you all doing? So in today's video, I figured I'll just show you, you know, how you can set up a virtual machine. I switched recently to Debian, it works fine. I'll make a video soon where you should put a stable distribution on your workstation. One thing I want to mention when I go down in the description, there'll be a link for downloading uh, VMware workstation player which is what we'll be using for the for this like series that I'm planning on making where I'll show you guys how you can actually will be how to set up a virtual machine how to select a operating system to do testing so you want to go into the link description and you will see um, all of this finger magic and if you are a Windows user you want to just go over here and pick the download now over here it will download the exe file for you windows guys as you can see it says it over here file type exe so you want to pick the one that's for you if you're using windows you have to be on a 64-bit operating system obviously so you want to pick the download button down here however since we're on linux you want to go over here where it says the file type bundle nothing special here so file type bundle and you want to download this file. Now, I already have it downloaded. And um, to show you what I mean, you want to go to, you want to cd into your downloads directory in your terminal, just like that. Then you want to run ls, then add a pipe, and then uh, type in grep, and then type in, okay, so just air or air like that. Or you can just type in vm, just like that. And we'll show you that the VMware player bundle file if you're using Linux has been downloaded. And what we want to do is uh, we want to be able to just make it executable first. So what you need to do is you want to type in change mod or change or okay, just change mod uh, and then type in uh, plus x and then VM where bundled the file itself basically you can start typing and then hit tab to auto complete it once you do this you should be able to just do dot forward slash vmware bundle and what it should do is it should extract the vmware installer and it says it it requires root access as you can see so you need to run it as a root which is really simple to do you just type in sudo and run this file as an administrator by typing in your lovely password. Okay, go down first try, that's good. All right, so, and uh, that's it. That's pretty much the installation done. So uh, now what you can do is, uh, I'm using Mate right now on my system. So before we actually launch this, uh, let's actually search if we have it. So we have VMware Player installed, you can see it over here on my desktop here. Now uh, let's run a command to check our memory situation here. Okay, now it works. No, it didn't. So you can type in 3-H to list your current memory situation. It's over here, 5.8 gigs available, so so that's good enough. So what you can do, you can type in uh, VMware and we'll open up with VMware Player so we can open this file up. And it will ask us for a few license agreements you obviously want to accept. Uh, I want to accept the license. Uh, no, do not check for product updates. That's what I choose, so you don't have to repeat this. Uh, no, I don't want to join the customer experience. I will use it for non-commercial use. Type in the password if it asks you, so... Okay, now it just went. Okay, interesting. So it will show you with this uh, welcome message over here. You, you want to obviously click OK. And this is pretty much how you install VMware. So this is pretty much the first beginner or beginning stages of the first video series. Uh, in the next video, we're going to cover some operating systems we want to use and uh, do some more things in them. How you can set up a proper virtual machine, basically. Uh, the reason why I'm using VMware is that it's a multi-platform piece of software that just works. And the most amount of success I've ever had was with VMware. Uh, compared to like virtual box that just didn't want to work 
and retro boxes some other like weird things and, and it doesn't actually let you do as much as it used to so that's kind of annoying but that's pretty much it for today's video make sure to leave a like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i hope to see all of you beautiful people next time